the film that I'm working on right now. Before I got here, I wrote a music cue. Now I'm writing that cue, not on pencil and paper. I'm not doing that. I'm not writing it on pencil and paper. I'm not John Williams. I don't get to do that. I'm writing it and programming it, sequencing it. And the reason I'm doing it like that is it allows me to share my creativity with my director. So, for instance, if my director says, I want to hear what you're doing for that particular scene with that character, I could ask the director to come down to my studio and I could play something on the piano and say, look, you know, that bit that I'm playing here, that's actually going to be violins. And then boom, 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 there's going to be French horns doing that. Now, that's quite a stretch for the director to think, oh, OK, yeah, that, that's going to be great. Better still, with the technology available, I can write my music, but I can actually program it, sequence it within my sequencer, and I can put those sounds on violins. I'm gonna play them on a keyboard, on a violin sound, and I'm gonna layer the sounds so that in fact, we end up with an amazing demo. Some people would say, my God, I can't even tell that that's not a real orchestra. The real purpose of it is to then, once I've done that, I can bring my director in and say, I don't have, they don't have to have a leap of faith and think, oh, this is gonna sound like that. It's gonna be guitars. It's going to be drums, it's going to be a flute. They're going to hear it like that. So that allows them to open your, your world up to a director who, yeah, he, the director, he or she's supposed to know a lot about everything, but my bet is that a director doesn't know everything about camera lenses. Everything, the DP is going to have to know that. That's why you hired a DP. They're not going to know everything about hair and makeup or costumes. So that's why there are people hired who do know things about that. The only thing is you've got to let your client into your world Otherwise, it's very exclusive, and Hans taught me very well on that. His uh, analogy was, Harry, you know, you're an English guy. You try, you're just, you, 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 you get too shy and embarrassed. You gotta undress in front of your director. I'm like, excuse me? He's like, yes, that's what it is. You, you gotta show everything, you have to. Because otherwise, how are you gonna fulfill their creative dream and their creative vision for this, this project, this film? So allowing a director into your world via the use of technology has become critical. And yeah, I'm just coming up to hiring a new assistant for myself. And you know, I found exactly the right person. She had exactly the right chops in every direction, except she didn't really know how to sequence music very well. So my instruction to her was pretty much what Hans's was to me. Go away, come back when you can, you're, you're comfortable sequencing this stuff. Now that had nothing to do with her ability to compose, her ability to imagine and write music. It was more to do with how I need her to be able to operate within the confines of, of Hollywood and, and being a jobbing film composer. We need to be able to use the technology these days. So in answer to your question, I think it would be absolutely critical for most people to have a really good handle on the technology that's available today.